Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University are one step closer to reading our thoughts. It's, it's, like, it's like science fiction. You know, who would have believed that it was possible? Dr. Marcel Just directed the study that uses this computer program here and this MRI machine. Now, we can't get cameras in here because it's a strong magnetic field, but if I were a participant, I'd get into this MRI machine. I'd read several sentences like this one here, and the computer program will predict what I'm thinking. Participants had to read 240 sentences. 239 of them were given to the computer program with matching images of the brain's activity. We measure how much activation, how much neural fiber there is in each one. Then it had to predict the 240th sentence based on what it learned from the brain's activity in the previous sentences. Dr. Just says this is only the beginning of what could be a new world of medicine. You could eventually potentially diagnose other kinds of disorders, maybe bipolar, maybe schizophrenia, maybe suicidality. Uh, maybe depression. We haven't done this yet, but the, the door is cracking open. But reading your friend's mind won't be so easy anytime soon. If you can persuade enough friends to go into scanners, yes, you could read their minds. In Pittsburgh, Michelle Chavez, Fox News.